All right, so we're on our last tool. We're going to thread it, but I'm not gonna use a tap. I'm gonna use a thread mill. So this is a great cutter. It's designed well, and it actually gets the job done quickly and perfectly, all right? So if it's aluminum or steel like 303, something soft, I will roll tap it or cut tap it depending. But I love thread mills because thread mills, you can comp them, right? If, if you have a certain amount of plating or if it's getting etched or if they're calling out the size you know, larger because they're putting in an insert, you can literally adjust that thread perfectly. And not just that, if a thread mill drops into a hole and breaks, the thread mill is smaller than the hole right so it usually breaks clean up at the neck which allows you to simply stop the machine take out the thread mill put another one in because it's a thread mill and the tip to the first thread is perfect you simply can just reprobe it or re-zero it and the thread mill will drop down actually pick up the exact thread now there's a lot of flutes on this thread mill and that's because the thread mill is specifically designed for a 5 16 18 thread all right because it has so many teeth this thread mill when it's spinning will simply drop down move into the major diameter of the thread in this case a diameter of 5 16 and then it will helical up one time for one thread. So it's 18 threads per inch. So if you divide that, that would be 55,000. So it simply goes in. And as it walks around that major diameter at 360 degrees, it raises at the same time as it's going around. So by the time you hit 360 degrees, your Z has lifted by 55 thousandths and then the tool will disengage then through the entire diameter of the hole all of your threads all the way up will be perfectly cut so since this is ink and out, i'm going to walk in i'm going to leave five thousandths and do one roughing pass i'm going to come out i'm going to drop back down i'm going to walk in that extra five thousandths to do my finish i'm going to do it one more time and then i'm going to come out Go down, I'm going to do it one more time just as a spring pass, not to take any material, but just to make a perfect thread and catch any material that's left because the tool might have deflected because it's hanging out so long in Inconel. All right, so let's do this. So one of the cool things about the thread mill is you would think that you would drop down and just like inch around at like 0.5 feed rate or, or something very delicate and very small, but we're going to actually get after it a little bit, okay? So our surface footage is at 180, all right? That's a good surface foot right there. And then our feed per tooth is at 0.0012. This is a three flute tool, and that's going to put us at a cutting feed rate of 10 inches a minute. 10 inches a minute doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're dropping down and you're only moving out like 50 thousandths, you get there quick, right? And then when you move around in that small little space, it moves quick. So it's gonna go in, boom, out, in, boom, out. The tool actually has a hole going through the tool, so coolant actually comes out the bottom it flushes those chips. But because the diameter is 0.257 and the tool is 0.242, there's not a lot of space, okay? And I don't wanna run those chips over. So what I'm doing with an understanding that it's flushing the bottom of the hole is I'm lifting up. As I'm lifting up, it's flushing the bottom. It's pulling all the chips out so by the time I come up, all the chips are out, and then I just drop back in, walk around again, come out, drop back in, do my spring pass, come around for a perfect finished thread.